Come and hear all you who fear God. Let me tell you what he has done for me. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. Let's join together and go before the Lord in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this day, for this month of Elul. Please be with the nations, Lord, as certain organizations seek to take our sovereignty away and put us all under their umbrella to rule us and control us in every thought, word, and deed that we may have. But that belongs to you and you alone. So please be with Oregon and Pennsylvania, Qatar, Romania, Russia, Rwanda, St. Kitts and Nevis, St. Lucia, St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Dear Heavenly Father, help us to not only be silent witnesses, but in any fashion that you may have so that everyone will know whose authority this world is under. And it's not the hands of man. So we bring these serious prayers before you. And we pray for Israel as they fight for their survival and the return of the hostages and for your soon return as you've encouraged us to do. In Yeshua's precious and holy name we pray. Amen. Hello, thanks for joining us for Our Daily Bread. Your host is Les Lamborn. Did you know that our words can make an eternal difference? Gentle Witness is the title of today's meditation written by Bill Crowder. Years ago, I was hospitalized following a life-threatening 38-foot fall from a bridge. While I was there, the wife of the man in the next bed stopped to speak to me. My husband just told me what happened to you, she said. We believe God spared your life because he wants to use you. We've been praying for you. <laughs> I was stunned. I had grown up going to church, but I had never imagined that God would want to be involved in my life. Her words pointed me to a Savior I had heard of but did not know and marked the beginning of my coming to Christ. I cherish the memory of those words from a gentle witness who cared enough to say something to a stranger about the God whose love is real. Her words conveyed care and concern and offered purpose and promise. Jesus challenged his disciples and us to tell others about the love of God. Acts chapter 1 verse 8 reads, You shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you shall be witnesses to me in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the end of the earth. Through the Holy Spirit, our words and witness can have the power to make an eternal difference in the lives of others. chapter 1 verses 4 through 11 contains Christ's promise of the Holy Spirit and I'll read from Acts chapter 1 verses 4 through 11 and being assembled together with them he commanded them not to depart from Jerusalem but to wait for the promise of the Father which he said you have heard from me for John truly baptized with water but you shall be baptized with the Holy Spirit not many days from now Therefore, when they had come together, they asked him, saying, Lord, will you at this time restore the kingdom to Israel? And he said to them, It is not for you to know times or seasons which the Father has put in his own authority, but you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you shall be witnesses to me in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the end of the earth. Now when he had spoken these things, while they watched, he was taken up, and a cloud received him out of their sight. And while they looked steadfastly toward heaven as he went up, 
behold, two men stood by them in white apparel, who also said, Men of Galilee, why do you stand gazing up into heaven? This same Jesus, who is taken up from you into heaven, will so come in like manner as you saw him go into heaven. Father, help us to say words that are spirit-led to encourage and lead others to a saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. Help us to be your mouthpiece today. For we ask in Christ's name, amen. And as you think about today's meditation, remember, a caring word can accomplish more than we could ever imagine. My name is Les Lamborn. I see the waters part when I kneel down and pray. I've seen my selfish heart soften and change. Through all the silence, I can stay quiet. I'll shout it out to the sky. Wherever he takes me, every day of my life, I will try to be like him. Shine a Saved by his love